We completed our open water dives in Jamaica. That had always been the plan. So we arrived and the first morning we went for a walk by the pool and a guy said, would you like to try scuba diving? Yes, we would. So we handed him our referral papers and then he got us into the pool. And he sat there and he watched me struggle with my mask clearing. I hated that skill. But eventually I managed to do it well enough and he said, okay, you're good to go. He booked us on to the 11 o'clock boat for our first open water dive. It was exciting, but it was scary too. I was so nervous that I had problems with my ears. I've since realized that an awful lot of people who are nervous have problems with their ears. And a lot of people who have problems with their ears stop having problems with their ears when they stop being nervous. But anyway, I had problems with my ears. I had to go down really, really slowly. Eventually I got down, had a fantastic time, and absolutely loved it. I'm a little bit overconfident once I get something. And so on my third dive, I opened the valve on my tank and saw that I had enough air in my gauge and then turned my tank back half a turn, which is how we'd been taught at the time. I jumped in and as soon as the instructor said we'd go down, I started descending, got to three meters. <gasps> I couldn't breathe again. It was just like being on my DSD, my tri-dive. So I frantically signaled to my open water instructor and he brought me up to the surface and he looked at my gauge and he said, what's wrong? You got a full tank. Anyway, I hadn't turned my air on fully. I just turned it on a little bit and then turned it half a turn back. So it was effectively only half a turn open. Won't do that again in a hurry. We completed our open water dives, had a brilliant time. It was so much fun that we chose to do our advance while we were there too. On our advance course, we had a lot of fun. At that time, there was a requirement on the deep dive that you did a cognitive function test. So for this, you had to do something on the surface before you went diving, and then you had to perform the skill again underwater. Our instructor gave us a math test. It was addition. It's very easy. So I did it on the surface. And then underwater, he gave us the same math test. It was even easier. He passed the, the slate to Gary to do the math test and Gary queried something with him. And then Gary did the, the test too. Afterwards, when we came back to the surface, it turns out that underwater, it was a subtraction. Same numbers, but it was subtraction. I'd just gone straight ahead, done it as an addition, not even noticed that it was a subtraction. Gary, of course, had got it right. I loved both my open water course and my advanced open water course once I got out into the sea. But one thing I have learned, and I didn't learn it straight away, it's taken me quite some time, is not to be too cocky and too confident. I have a tendency to do that. Now I double check what I'm doing before I go anywhere or do anything. I make sure that my air is turned on. I make sure that I've checked my gauge. And I make sure when I'm looking at a slate that I fully understand what it is that I'm expected to do before I just rush into it. My next story is about doing my dry suit course in the middle of winter in the UK. See you next time.